Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing the Orion because uh, I wanted to play a mixed Orion build. Now, what is the build all about? We have kind of a brawling setup here with an LB10X auto cannon with three medium pulse laser and an LRM15 Artemis. Yes, I say an LRM15 Artemis because I wanted to have something to fire in the early stages of the game. So the whole purpose of the build is to have something to fire while you are out of position and then you're going in and you transition into a brawler with a very low cooldown on the auto cannon here. So the Orion 1M has a very nice quirk for it, it's minus 20% and the medium pulse laser. So the LRM is for early assault fire while you are getting into position and after the brawl, after you, are, you just killed your, your enemies in front of you, you want to regroup with the team and then you can fire indirectly while you're getting into a new position. This is a build which lets you fight at any phase of the game and this is what I really really like about that. Now uh, as you can see we are running an active probe here. We are running an Intersphere targeted computer. That's because I had some spare weight and I didn't know what to do with it. So mm, it's quite okay to have that. It gives you a little targeting time boost which is great to target weak spots with that LB10. Um, but the targeting computer beam range uh, or the targeting computer only applies to the beam range to your weapon. So the LB10 doesn't benefit from it, the uh, LRM15 doesn't benefit from it. But yeah, we've got enough ammo, we've got enough heat management and the Beagle Active Prop is to um, shield yourself from ECM. So if anything gets close, uh, like a light mech or like if you're on a brawl uh, and you have another like heavy mech around, um, that jams your signals and you really want to figure out where the enemy's weak spots are, then the Beagle Active Probe comes in handy. The skills look like that. Um, we've invested a bunch of skills into firepower here. As you can see, all the green notes for the missile. We've got all the uh, LP10 uh, spread notes, the magazine capacity notes, and I maxed out cooldown here. So this is what I went for in the first place. That was my priority. And getting the cooldown going because I want to fire the shotgun as fast as possible. After that, Survivability, because the Orion is very sturdy, has good quirks and amplifying them with the skills is just so, so good. You can stay in the fight forever. After that, I got a little bit of mobility. I wanted torso speed. I wanted a little bit of torso yaw and a kinetic burst and heartbreak. So this is kind of my auto include for most of my heavy mechs with torso mounted weapons at the moment. It is uh, just nine points, very well invested. And I think you don't necessarily need more than that. I skipped operations because we have a very cold build in general. So the build is relatively heat neutral. We don't need extra cooling, but um, I'm running 60% rated deprivation and this time target decay to be able to shoot your missiles even if the enemy gets to cover. And of course, and consumable slot. And that is the build. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold. We are playing Domination. And we have a very cool build for this map because we can shoot our alarms early on. We can deal some damage. We got that LRM15, which is bound to a wrong weapon group because I just changed it from an LRM20. And um, yeah, so we transition into a brawler later. Don't hold back with your ammo. You just want to soften up the enemy and then I'm later on want to get into a brawl because that LB10 is so damn amazing. The cooldown of that is so, so quick and um, yeah, you, you you can shoot your weapon whenever you want to, even if you only have a very a brief lock. So again, don't hold back with ammo. This is not a learn boat. It's not supposed to be in it's second line bit. all the time. Someone you really want to go to the front line and yeah, while you are going, you do something like this. Oh yeah. To your right, Shadow Cat. All right. He has a so we go for the Griffin here, so which kind of drop back to cover and now he's beneath the platform. Okay. So, um, this guy, Warhammer, do the same thing, try to keep locks, just shoot him, he's getting pushed back, and now we got the platform. See that? That's so cool, just push the platform, push the platform, go, 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 go! Ah, guys, push it! Oh, now you're pushing in front of me! Oh god, okay, anyway, push it, push it, push it, guys! Come up to the platform here, here's a party! And this is what I want to show you. Look at this cool dog. Isn't that cool? And here we go again. Shoot around the right side. Down goes the Hellbringer. Yes. Uh, <laughs> guys, give yourself some space to fight. What are you doing here? Trying to get in front of everybody is not the right way. Circle around your body. So are you kidding me? <laughs> what is going on, guys? <laughs> Julia, Julia. <laughs> Alright, we used the Lerms. <laughs> I don't care anymore. I just use the Lerms right, to shoot right, indirectly right, now. Right, if I right. can't get a uh, line of sight, then I'm doing that. I'm pushing down, guys. I'm pushing down. Right side. Delta 5. My god! 
Okay. You know what you can check down below then. Oh, okay. So, we calm down. <laughs> Going to the right side, Supernova, guys. Follow up. Uh, Supernova pushed up a UAV. Ooh, he is a die wolf. It's a learn boat. I'm going for the die wolf. He's scarier. Die wolf, please, die wolf. Foxtrot. Yep, Foxtrot. Yep. Oops, that was the wrong button. Ah! Oh, fuck. Come on. Please, Foxtrot. Oh my god, I'm going to die here. Am I? Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to kill him. Ow. What's that? There's a lot of explosions in my face. Oh, that's a supernova. He's trying to shoot a uh, Lerms at close range. And yeah, this is what you want to do. LB10 to the face and the medium pulse to open the enemy up before you do that. And that's kind of working. Also, the heat management is so damn great. So, we lost medium pulse. Uh, one of them. But we are still online. We can still do this. That's perfectly fine. Also, this is a better target because he is in the open. And this is what I was talking about earlier. So you can just shoot the Lerms while you are regrouping, while you are out of position, while you try to get back to your team. Okay, Irby need, uh, Griffin needs to die, not Irby. And of course you are in an Orion, which means you got a load of armor. Okay, you see around here. Is that a cheeky shutdown? No. Ow. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Can we do that? No, probably not. Alright, that was close. That's a very late war on. Also, if you're damaged like me now, you can just stay in cover. Play it super safe. Just shoot wherever you want to. And this is, again, it's just a nice mixed build. I really like it. And don't you think that that LB10 cooldown is over 9000? It's so good. Ooh, no, okay. Cool! Okay, that was a nice game, <laughs> very escalated. I have no idea what happened in the first phase. I was just trying to get into position and everybody was just around me and uh, blocking each other. But hey, cool round. Let's have a look at the end score before we go to the next game. And screen pop up. Come on, I know that you're here. There we go. Two kills, nine assists, three kill most damage dealt, 750 damage and nine components destroyed. That's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing Rubelit Oasis. We are playing Skirmish, which should result in a murder ball, I guess. Uh, we are also playing with TTB, so um, as another streamer and, and YouTuber, if you haven't checked him out, do it now. Uh, link is down below in the description of my video, so I'm going to link that for you. And uh, actually I'm pretty happy with the map choice here, because it's a very hot one, and we have a very cold mm, brawling loadout here. Our nominal range on our LRMs is 990 meters, so we need to get a little closer and if you get that we can do that so it's fine the summoner hit me but maybe i'm going to hit the summoner as well just want to scare him off a little bit nah okay it went to cover but anyway uh let me talk about critical damage for a second because um not many of you might know that the more damage instances you have the better the critical hit chances are i mean it's may maybe a no-brainer if you only fire a single shell at the enemy let's say an ac10 you have uh like one critical hit chance with the projectile. If you are firing yeah, your right, lerms, right. you have like 15 individual critical hit chances, and some of them will eventually deal critical hit, uh, critical damage, not critical. Hit. But I, I guess you get it, right? So the more instances of damage you throw at the enemy, um, for example, LRMs, uh, MRMs, LBX pellets, um, the better it is. And um, yeah, so it's a very nice build for for the crits here. Um, this is Urban Mac. We have locks on him. Uh, I want to help you out in Echo 4, I'm pushing that. Okay, there's a guy on the left, it's close. Yeah, it's a summoner. Okay, that is not enough. Uh, I'm pushing down here. Cicada and a Irby mech. Um, are we pushing this, actually? Team is a little bit spread now. Oh, hello, Timberwolf. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to stay at eight, uh, 185 meters, which is great for my LRMs. I can shoot that while shooting all of my other weapons as well. And the Timberwolf should be dead in a second. Ah, uh, too early. Come on. What did we destroy here? I think we destroyed something from the, uh, from the Warhammer there. Alright, and uh, we keep up the push. So I was uh, kind of focused on that guy shooting my lerms. I should have taken more care about my mobility here. And um, yeah, going for the Vindicator, that's fine. Um, are we? 
Are we going for the Vindicator? That Vindicator is pretty scary, and I want to actually regroup with my team. And I'm not going for the Vindy. Don't go up there. No? Why not? Nope. Get instant focus, they're all looking this way. Alright. Okay, so we need to find another spot. What? So you turn need an arm to learn this. <laughs> Okay, we go for the Cyclops, and it seems that they've got some some AMS going on there. I mean, as soon as soon as I have locks, I can yeah, do this. Oh, not cool. No, don't go for my left also, I need that. Alright. Good, good thing is I got target uh, decay, so I can shoot a little bit more after he's in cover. And at the moment I'm just taking targets of opportunities here. So, I do not want to risk it. Cicada. Can I get a shot with my LB10? It's difficult. It's extremely difficult. The dragon is caught. Alright. I want to get him. Alright. LRM ammo is out. The good thing is that my left torso is damaged. So that's the, where the LRM is in. Actually, we got the numbers, guys. We can push that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go in. So, good just. Timberwolf. Where's the Timberwolf? I could leave my uh, lose my left side without a problem because LRM ammo is out anyway. What is my team doing? Uh, very timid here. I could actually go for it. You know what? I'm going for it. Okay, this guy is in cover. Yeah, let's just go. I mean, at, at eight kills, there is no need holding back. Let's go for this kill. Um, this guy is very damaged. Okay. That PPC is done. The other one is done as well, so that guy is dead. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Holy crap. And we go for the Cyclops now. So yeah, that's um, kind of the build. That is how no Ryan plays. Again, what I really like about the build is that you have um, a weapon that you can fire at any phase of the game. Again, the critical damage is great, you got the crit seeking uh, LB10, you got the missiles on top of it, which deal uh, some good amount of critical damage to open components and the medium pulse laser for the pinpoint destruction. Anyway, we got one killing blow, we got nine assists, one kill most damage dealt, 584 damage and five components destroyed. That is your Orion, that's your daily dose for today. I hope you liked the video. As always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There's the link to my Patreon page and I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.